hey guys welcome back to my channel now this is a story time it will be my first story time but i believe it has its place and i think it will help young females like myself to be more aware and to see the signs that they don't fall into the same demise as i did um i'm getting straight into it so grab your wine grab your drinks grab your popcorn i'm going to go from scratch one to scratch wherever it takes us so where it started right just left university and uh, i was a science student i switched majors to journalism right so i graduated and uh, i got my first job in media anyway I was just doing my thing, doing my the best I could and, you know, taking time to understand the whole world and take my little time and progress and I met a older gentleman. Now, I'm one of those females that would say, oh, older men are just more mature and older men are uh, like, they're just, they're just, they're just amazing people compared to the younger guys but little did i know right so think about it young just leaving uni and meeting this older guy that i realized was so much of a gentleman i mean treats me like a, a queen <laughs> you know and i am not I am not attracted to older men because I have daddy issues. Me and my dad are very tight. So that's, I, I just think I, I, I thought they were way more mature, way more trustworthy, but wait for the end of this story that I have to observe, right? And I observed for a couple months to see who he's talking to because of course I got the vibe from him but I, I didn't show anything because I still didn't take the time out to see who he's talking to what he does when he does it I take time to study right so of course I was very pleasant but I left I, I just I, I just didn't give any signals right so he was being really nice really sweet wasn't pushing anything at all just a really nice gentleman anyway i realized that this guy doesn't talk to many females like that he will stay by himself most of the times he doesn't socialize with a lot of people just really a by himself kind of guy and i don't know i'm quite attracted to those guys like that personality trait so a couple months passed and I realized that he seems to be very unproblematic so you know we started corresponding I, I don't quite remember how it started but we exchanged the numbers we started corresponding um, when I tell you sweet I mean this man would take me to some really nice site like, like sites to, to just because I love nature he'll take me to different beaches and have some very wholesome conversations things that I love to have it so happens say this man he was very available to so of course I see I, I I was observing how available the person is because you can't really trust people these days you have to observe to know if you should move forward he's extremely available I mean this guy would wake up early five o'clock six o'clock go down a hill she go buy pounds of sea fish like I love ocean fish from the ocean i love the saltwater fish he'll get me some woolly snappers in the five o'clock six o'clock region and come to my yard and drop it off he'll see some cute dresses and decide that oh this would fit her and get them for me and 
which I'm very grateful for that this relationship wasn't sexual so I'm really because I would have completely regretted that relationship so for him to do all of that without you know most times men aren't doing those things they're not going out on a limb unless you give up some sugar you know anyway there was no sugar it was just pure care pure love he was literally the only person i was talking to like so we were dating um i get my 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 favorite wine just everything anyways people so one afternoon i was at work and the work phone rang and they said Paige dixon somebody's on the phone to you so they said me no one has a they cut my like, people who i know will will would never call my workplace so i answered and the person is like Paige dixon with an attitude you know so i said hello she's like let me tell you something girl let me tell you something girl you see and she called out him name more you know you never know say married and me i'm woman I am his girlfriend and it's just a two away. Men I want a third person. So I was like, huh? I'm like, what are you talking about? Because as far as I know, the man I've never seen a ring on his finger. He's completely available for me. Every day, every second, never an excuse. So I said, um I I think you should have a good day. Boom, and I hung up the phone because I could never me I talked to. Because <laughs> as far as me, you know, the person who I'm dating is very available, you know? But anyway, I went to him and I'm like, so-and-so called me. This lady sounded very upset, called me, and she said she's from, she told me where she's from, and I told him. And she's, he's like, Ross, yo, it's a woman, I, 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 I help, you know? because she doesn't have her father's child helping her and she really wants something with me but i keep telling her that i don't want her i know she's trying to mess up what we have right in front of me this man took out his phone called her on speaker and said to her what a baby see you don't you don't don't call her again why are you doing that why the f you doing that blah 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 so she's like but i um but but, uh, but I didn't. she didn't finish her sentence because he was shouting at her. And he's like, don't do that again. Because, because if you want your son to continue school, do that again, see. Do it one more time and blow it. So he was threatening her. And he's like, I'm not talking about done. What, whatever relationship or friendship, I was doing this out of the love of my heart. But whatever I was doing, it's done. Because there will be nothing, there's nothing between us and there will be nothing between us. And in course of him bad with him after her, I couldn't believe because this is a guy that has composure. So when I saw that, I'm like, oh, this is a very bad man. Hung up the phone and he's like, Paige, I'm really sorry. Um, it's just a crazy woman and uh, it will never happen again. It's just some females don't know how to just accept relationships for what they are. And just try and find somebody that wants them. Woman never call again. So we're good. So I'm like, well, why would you say that you're married? He's like, I'm not married. A matter of fact, I was with a woman and I, I have a child. So I just have not him have a child, but he's like, she, she was closer to my age. But he said that the mother lived abroad and the child is in some university somewhere else abroad and he has no attachments no strings to anybody he is completely he's completely for me <laughs> so him not have no woman so mr good and based on who i'm talking and him really out there he's really there for me i had no other doubts because it's not like mega checking phone or we, well we didn't reach that relationship where yeah you know we intimate and i'm there in the nights and we have that intimacy you know it was still in the early stages but he's it was very exclusive so anyway people things blow off a couple more months pass 
and me say the guy started to he carried me to his family he, and if you see me staring i'm trying to remember it in sequence so i don't leave anything out so he was still very available to me he carried me to his family's residence his family was so welcoming his mom was so welcoming um again bit from the phone call at my workplace i was on my guard but the more i was around his family and more around people that are in his inner circle and the how they they greet me and the kind of love they show me i am like that lady was just crazy so anyway um he continued doing the really nice stuff for me and one day my phone rang around in the afternoon and he was calling so I answered and I'm like hey you never hear him we just hear a big bang give him up the phone she's like no give him up the phone and there was a big fight in the background and I'm there listening because I know that that's his voice but the female voice I couldn't pick up because the person's like no never tell her about. so she's like yes I mean his bitch so I'm like yeah page here <laughs> so she's like I see him I see him when we call you from so and so you wonder how me get him phone now right so I'm like that's that's a pretty good um yeah that's what I'm thinking because the last time I checked he said you're a mad woman and that he's trying to help he's trying to help you take care of your son and I don't think a person would give a mad woman his phone willingly like that so him say him say what so she said you tell her some you a mad woman but him why blah 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 so he's like he's like um no 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 but you, you acted crazy so i, I hear her arguing or something so she it sounded as if she locked him he was at her home and she locked him out and had the phone so she obviously challenged him for his phone locked him out and called me so she's like let me tell you what i want because me realize you're really not this intentionally right now so this woman thought that i was intentionally trying to teeth a married man that's her boyfriend so me say yeah i'm because right now i'm all ears this is crazy and i honestly thought you were a mad person because i am not in the kind of mix up i don't date married men i don't that's not my that's not my that's not my ministry so let me know so she said they are together they've been together for close to 20 years i don't remember the exact years but she poses as his cousin so his wife and her are like best friends because she his wife forever thinks that she is his cousin so yeah so the wife does autumn yeah she thinks the the side chick is the man cousin so it's one big happy family so him bring them go different family gatherings together and the girlfriend is always there why the wife okay because what is in best in, in favorite cousin and there's she obviously don't see no signs between him and the cousin and this woman is a pure bird side chick anyway she said to me say Mariela I say she said to me say she was at the gate of my workplace and she told me the day but that day I stayed I stayed back from work and said I was going to do some extra tasks she said i was by your gate waiting for you to come out i had a bot a bottle of acid and i had my knives because i decided that you are not going to leave the property alive miss page dixon <laughs> i don't know how i felt because i could have lost my life without even knowing and then in the, the glena you would see um that's not even a love triangle that's a love square you'd have seen a love square gone wrong without me even knowing what somebody i kill me for because as far as me know this person is 
single and talking to me. She told me that he, she's been, he's been sending her son to school. He stays by her sometimes. Um, she, she tells me about their intimate life. <laughs> and she said that she found out about me because she realized that she saw some receipts of him buying me like expensive dresses and she started asking him for stuff and he was no longer providing for her or, or the son. She realized that his attention was not, and it's obvious not to his wife. So she found out about me. She, she, she said that she was kindly asking me to just leave the whole thing because it's affecting her and she can't afford to send her son to school. And this man has the means and the resources to ensure that her and her son can have a quality life and I am messing things up and she's very sorry that she came on to me so strongly because she never know say I didn't know she thought I honestly knew this man was married so people me could have dead and I know what me dead for I didn't want to hear any thing else let me just say so and so thank you for reasoning with me you don't have to worry about me you won't hear from me ever ever again <sighs> i don't know what happened he called me off another number was trying to explain saying that he is married and blah 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 but he no longer wants that life he wants he wants to to move on with me that's the last thing I heard. That's the last thing I heard from him because I hung up the phone, blocked him. I've never seen him since. So sometimes, honestly, we will never know. Like you can be as cautious and observant as possible, but a liar will always be a liar. Honestly, especially women, I don't know what to tell you from this experience. Like there were no signs one because we're not that we're not that deep into the relationship where i was sleeping with him or sleeping by his house to see certain stuff it was very a very intense relationship but in the aspects of, of just love and care so i don't know i really don't know how i could have avoided that situation but yeah that was <laughs> That was my relationship with a married man that almost cost me my life unknowingly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. There will be more videos I drop. Maybe not story times because, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of intimate sometimes. You know my story times. So like the video if you do. Hit the subscribe button for more contents like these and well not like these but like my previous videos and hit the bell notification to be notified as soon as i post another video thanks for watching guys hasta la vista